Hey everyone, I'm Wes. While the Codron EDU is durable, it also isn't indestructible. Sometimes after a severe crash or after many crashes, you may notice that the frame itself has sustained damages. These fractures occur most commonly in the front guard, the arms of the drone, and in the canopy. We recommend replacing the frame if the damage is severe enough that flight or safety is compromised. Replacing the frame is an involved process, so make sure to follow along closely and even watch the video a few times. Before you get started, we recommend preparing a few things. We recommend having tweezers, a bottle cap or a small container, the screwdriver included in the box, a magnet which will make working with small screws much easier, and a strong flashlight for finding pieces if you do happen to drop a small component. Set up at a desk that's free of clutter so that the small parts don't get lost easily. We also recommend if possible to avoid doing this over a high pile rug or carpet because if a small screw does fall, it can be very difficult to find. Instead, we recommend a hard floor or a low pile rug if you have it. Start by turning the drone over and removing the six screws from the bottom of the shell. Once you've loosened all six screws, put them in your small container to keep them from getting lost. Removing the shell can take a little bit of wiggling and squeezing, but once the screws are off, the bottom shell should detach. The screws are small and it can be easy to lose them here, so make sure to take your time. Pro tip, attach a small magnet to your small screwdriver and this will magnetize your screwdriver and make getting the screws out of the shaft of the bottom shell much easier. If you do happen to drop a screw on the ground, use a strong flashlight low to the ground. It makes it easier to see the screw. If you need additional screws, you can also reach out to us at support at roblink.com. Now you need to remove the motors. The positions of the motors matters and the direction the motors spin is indicated by the color of the wire. Start by pushing all of the motors up just a little bit so that they're partially poking out of the housing but still held in place. Use your tweezers to remove the bumpers below each motor and place those into your container. These can also be difficult to find if they fall, so take your time. Next, unplug each motor from the main board. Remember their positions so you can put them back in the same places. Make sure not to pull using the wire, instead pull the white connector itself. You can use tweezers to make this a little easier. Now you can push each of the motors out of the housing and thread the wire of the motors out of the frame. We recommend putting the motors in their respective positions on the table when the drone is upside down and pointing away from you. This makes it easier to remember which motor goes where. On the main board itself you'll notice four flanged screws, which are screws with a sort of disc around the head. Unscrew these and then place them into your container. Once these screws are removed, you'll be able to separate the main board from the four pillars in the frame. Sometimes the threading of the pillars can be pretty tight, so you may need to wiggle the board a bit before it fully detaches. Try to wiggle and pull firmly. Just be careful not to pull the ribbon cable too hard when it detaches. With the main board detached, you can flip the main board like you're opening a book. You'll notice four more flange screws, which are holding the front range sensor in place. Remove those screws as well and place those into the container. Like before, once all screws are removed, you may need to wiggle the board a little before it detaches from the threading. And you're halfway done! Now you should have four motors, your main board with the sensor board attached by a ribbon cable, and the bottom shell of your Codron EDU. In your container, you should have six thin screws, four bumpers, and eight flanged screws. Set aside the broken frame and get your new frame, and place it upside down with the nose of the drone facing away from you. You can tell which side is the nose by the button on top and by the small opening for the infrared sensor. Now you'll want to do the reverse of what you just did. Grab the main board and the sensor board and place the sensor board back into place. Make sure the sensor board is oriented correctly. When you close the book, the optical flow sensor should be visible. Use the magnet on the screwdriver technique and screw the flange screws back in to attach the sensor board to the frame. With the sensor board attached, check that the front range sensor is visible. You should be able to see two dots through the opening. Next, fold the main board in like you're closing a book and line up the main board so that the threading on the four pillars lines up with the holes on the main board. Screw in the remaining four flange screws. Now you can reattach the motors. Remember to check that you're placing the motors in the right position. Here's the view upside down, which is how you should have your motors placed on your table. You can also reference your manual for this image. 
We have another video that goes into detail about replacing motors, so we'll go through this part more quickly. Thread the motor through the housing and push the motor into the housing partially, then plug the connector in, make sure the metal part is facing up, tuck the wire into the lip under the arm, and use your tweezers to place the bumper back into place, and then push the motor all the way down until it clicks into place. Do this three more times for the remaining motors, remembering to always check that you're placing the motor in the correct position. All right, almost done. Lastly, tuck the antenna so that it's curved out like this, then place your bottom shell back over the belly of the drone. You may need to push the shell down a little for it to click into place. Make sure that the two dots of the front range sensor is still visible. Now screw in the thin screws into the six points and voila, you're done. Like always, with any repairs, make sure to do a test flight afterwards to make sure everything's functioning as expected. If you're seeing any irregular flight, try inspecting the drone or disassembling the drone to see if anything is misaligned or attached incorrectly. Whew, that was a lot of steps. If it's your first time replacing a frame, we recommend watching through a few more times or keeping the video nearby to follow along closely. We recommend having frame replacements done by the teacher or high school level students and to do it before or after class time since it's a pretty involved process. With enough practice, you should be able to do this yourself. If you run into any issues, feel free to reach out to us at support at robolink.com. Happy flying out there!